All right. Let me go to see and see what we have here. All right. Woodland Hills, California. Molly. Hello, Molly. Hi, Dennis. How are you? Okay. <laughs> so nice talking to you. Uh, the reason I'm calling is to ask you what we can do. Like the middle class, I mean, the middle uh, aged uh, parents here, you know, we're all aware of what's going on. You know, we're all scared for our kids. I talk to my kids, I talk to their friends and make them aware. And, you know, I, you know, we feel powerless, really. I mean, we don't feel, I don't feel like I can do, um, I, mean, I don't know what else uh, we can do. And we don't have the energy as young people do, uh, you know, to go out there in the streets and, um, you know, pick it with signs and stuff. And uh, they're scared of their minds, you know, to do that because they don't want to get an F in college or whatever, you know. And, um, uh, for example, I was I was uh, listening yesterday, the, the other day, uh, this woman in in um, New York, uh, Carmel, that she was, uh, uh, she, you know, she stood up to the Board of Education. And even Newsmax had her on, and they called the, the Board of Education, and they got no response. And she did everything she could, and she got no response. So there's, there, you know, there's nothing that. Uh, we do that gets a response. It's like we have no power. You mean talking? Of, you're specifically referring to the schooling issue. Yes. Uh, yes. So yes, uh, that's right. That. I agree with you. That is why I wrote my column this week. The best thing that be- people could do to save this country and their families and their children's ability to think clearly is to take their kids out of most schools. That's the best thing they could do. It's so radical sounding that I understand people won't do it. They're afraid about homeschooling. And I have suggestions on that. First of all, once you start it, you'll realize that it is not as intimidating as you thought it was. The issue is home income because if one parent devotes more time to the schooling of the child and they don't have their full income, I understand that's an issue. I would ask grandparents to make up the difference, or at least to help their children homeschool their children. Many parents have more money than their children. What are you, uh, what are you using that money for? Uh, To put it in your will when it's too late? Spend it now on your grandchildren so that your child can, in fact, take your grandchild out of the cesspool known as the local school, private or public. There's no difference. There's no difference now in elementary, high school, or college. used to be colleges. The poison, the sickness is permeated down below. Do you really want your grandchild to uh, attend drag queen? uh, What is it? I always forget the word. Sorry? Drag queen story hour. Story hour. I always think study hour. My brain comes up with the name study, but the word is story. Yeah, drug queen, drag queen story hour. Really, that's really, really what they want. You want your kid to do? You want your kid to learn that America was founded in order to preserve slavery? You want to learn that America is systemically racist? You want to learn that black people are different from white people because of skin color? Is that what you want? Of course it isn't. So parents are in a massive, massive degree of denial. It won't happen to my kid. Why not? I don't understand why you think that it won't happen to your kid. And if it does happen to your kid, they will end up having contempt for you. Now, people say, Why don't you fight the school board? Good. If you do, more power to you. 